Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my beach bag video. Some of you may or may not know that I do live about eight minutes away from the beach. So I'm at the beach pretty much every day. So I'm going to be showing you what I take to the beach with me and I hope you guys find it somewhat helpful if you live near a beach. So let's get started. My backpack or beach bag, whatever you want to call it, is actually from Billabong. There is a Billabong store right on our beach. So um, of course I bought this there and I love this so much because it has a zipper in the front where I can put kind of the things that I don't want to get sandy. And then it has the big part for my towel and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to start in the biggest part of my bag. So when you open my bag, usually the first thing I pull out is my water. I'm at home right now, so I didn't need to pull it out of my bag, but this actually has a little bit of green tea in it. That's why it doesn't look like a clear water. But what I do is actually, this is a really good tip you guys like a water jug like this is from Starbucks completely full with ice and then bring like little waters with you or even a big water that's even better and then you can keep pouring it on top of the ice so that it is constantly cold the whole day like when I go to the beach I go for about four sometimes five hours so and the ice keeps my drink cold the entire time because if you've ever tasted hot water then you never want to taste it again so yeah so that's a really good tip and then I put lemons in my water always because I love lemon water so much but um yeah so the next thing in my bag is this towel and I'm not going to take it out because it's all rolled up nicely but I always bring a towel to the beach I really like to bring big towels so that I have space but what some of my friends do is actually bring bed sheets because um, you can actually brush the sand off much more easily than a towel. I do know that some of my friends do it and it's very cool because you can just brush the sand off and you don't have to completely shake the towel out and bother everyone around you. So I thought that was a really good tip for some of you guys, but I still bring a towel. Then there's like a little pocket in the back here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. But in here I keep all of my sunscreen and my hair products that I bring to the beach. So the sunscreen that's absolutely my favorite is Neutrogena. I always use Neutrogena sunscreen. Um, I have several kinds in here. I'm going to show you. This is my favorite though. This is the Ultra Sheer Body Mist sunscreen and it has SPF 70. Now I can get, I got this at Publix. Um, you can get it at CVS. You can get it anywhere that they sell sunscreen, but it's waterproof obviously, but so it doesn't come off when you go in the water, which is really nice because some sunscreens come off very easily when you go in the water um, but this sprays on and you don't have to use too much they have an SPF 100 but don't be fooled by that because living in a very very hot state where I'm at the beach all the time anything over like SPF 55 or something is going to pretty much be the same um, 70 is going to give you a little bit more, but 100 is like not even worth it. You might as well just wear a long sleeve t-shirt. But I love this stuff and so do all my friends. I have two cans in here, I think, yeah. Two cans just because I go through it so fast. So also from sunscreen, I have my Neutrogena Clear Face Breakout Free Sunscreen. And I put this on my face, on my nose, because my nose tends to get very burned. And I put it right underneath my eyes, like right on my cheekbones right here and on my forehead. I leave this alone because this never gets burned. But the sun is hitting this part of your face directly. This is the best face stuff I have ever used. It's uh, again waterproof and oil free which is not going to make you break out. If you use like regular sunscreen on your face, if you have sensitive skin then it might break you out. I've had that trouble. It's very helpful to have an oil free sunscreen. So this is SPF 55. I also have um, SPF 30 in here just I don't know, for a backup in case something happens to the 55. I always have so much sunscreen in here, so I am ready for a long beach day. Okay, the next thing I have is makeup remover wipes, and I actually keep these in a plastic baggie because as you can see, they've already gotten kind of sandy. Um, but I have these because if I ever wear like mascara or eyeliner even to the beach, then if it smudges underneath my eyes and rather than trying to wipe it off and everything, you know, I just can take one of these and just go like this and go like this and then it's totally gone. I have my fast food leave-on conditioner in here. I put this on before I go in the water. Um, it's This is for my hair, by the way. Um, I put it on before I go into the water to kind of put a coating on my hair. I put it from like my ears down but um, sometimes I put it on before sometimes I put it on after mostly on before um, to, but it kind of coats your hair so that the salt salty water isn't so harsh 
on your hair because we all know that salt is very damaging um, for your hair. So when you have long hair like mine, um, I try to keep it as healthy as possible. So um, yes, this is the best conditioner and it smells really, really good. And I also have a comb in here. So after I'm done in the water, I like to gently comb out the tangles because um, it's very windy, obviously, at the beach, so um, you want to keep your hair tangle-free. So that is all I keep in the big section of my bag. Not very much, but very, very useful things for the beach. And then the next part of my backpack is this part in the front. And this I'm very careful um, not to get sand in because I have more important things in here as you'll see that I would prefer not to get sandy. Um, this because it has my towel and sunscreen and stuff that's like constantly out, then um, I keep it away or separate from the stuff that I have in here. So first thing I have is my wallet, um, my wallet and my keys. So obviously I don't want this stuff to get sandy. So I have my phone in this part too because I obviously don't want that to get sandy. And I have a mirror in here and you will be surprised how necessary mirrors are at the beach. It has, this is from Sephora and it has two sides, a magnifying one and a regular one. But everyone asks to use my mirror at the beach. It's crazy because especially for like makeup wipes and like if you have sunscreen that needs to be blended in and you can't see, then um, this mirror comes in so much handy. Then I just have a pack of gum because everyone tends to like to chew gum at the beach. I have my Olaclip, um, which is actually a lens that goes on iPhones and it takes some really cool like fisheye and wide angle pictures. If you watch my what's in my iPhone video, then you'll see me talk about this, but basically what it is is it has a fisheye lens, which is here, and then it has a wide angle lens and then when you unscrew the wide angle then it actually has a macro lens so you can get up really really close to things. Then the last thing that I have in my bag is my macadamia healing oil spray. I lost the cap to this so I keep it in the front part so that it doesn't get like messed up, I don't know. Um, but I spray this on the ends of my hair. I'm very careful with my hair at the beach you guys because I don't want it damaged from the salt because I'm at the beach so much, so I have to be really, really careful with um, damage, like salt damage. I, I don't always use this, but like when I want to be extra good with my hair, then I spray this on my ends, um, and it just keeps, it's just oil, and it just keeps your hair moisturized, because um, if I don't use any of these products for some reason when I'm at the beach, and then I come home and my hair is just so dry and brittle and it's really awful. I like to keep my hair as moisturized as I possibly can at the beach because it's very important, especially if you have hair as long as mine. So that's actually everything that I have in here. I would also like to mention that sometimes I bring uh, like a little bottle of lemon juice because if you watched my summer essentials video, then you know that I like to use lemon juice to lighten my hair in the summer. I use it constantly like throughout the summer. Um, so if I go to the beach and my hair is clean, then I don't like to put lemon juice in. But if I go to the beach and my hair is like really dirty, then I will put the lemon juice like in my bangs and in my roots a little bit over here to bleach out my hair or help bleach out my hair. As far as snacks, I really don't bring any snacks to the beach. Um, I have my wallet with me and there's a Starbucks very close by. So um, there's also a 7-Eleven. So like if I ever get hungry or thirsty, then I can just go get a vitamin water or um, a naked or whatever at 7-Eleven and I'm good for the day. I never bother bringing a cooler or anything like that. So that's everything in my beach bag. I hope you guys found this helpful. Maybe some tips for you guys to bring to the beach when you go next time. I have everything that I need right in this backpack and I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, like my Facebook page for extra status updates and pictures and stuff like that. Follow me on Twitter. Twitter. I've been loving Twitter lately, all quotes and stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.